Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Cabin in the Woods. It is the morning of day 29. And as always, the first thing we're going to do is spend some skill points. We have seven of them. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into Advanced Engineering Level 3. That's going to unlock Blade Traps. So we're going to craft one of those when we get back later and use it tonight. Then I'm going to go into Better Barter again. And then we're going to go over to Perception and go into the Penetrator. And no, it's not what you think, you dirty-minded fucks. This is going to allow us to ignore 15% of the armor on certain zombies like soldier zombies, demolishers. And we're getting more and more soldiers, so that's going to help. Matter of fact, I'm dumping a whole bunch of points into Perception. And with our last one, I'm going into Lucky Looter again. So that's it. Now we got to deal with these steps. I mentioned in the last episode that I was going to put bars on the outside of them for added protection. But instead of bars... We're going to select this uh, wood plate here from the shape menu. And then with the advanced rotation, we're going to put them up on the stairs just like this. Because these wood plates, we can upgrade these all the way to steel. Right now, we can only go to concrete, then we have to wait for it to dry, then we have to go to reinforced concrete, wait for that to dry, and then we can go to steel. But moving forward, this is going to provide much more protection than iron bars would. All right, let's get a move on here. I got a little bit of gas on me. We'll throw it in the Jeep now. It's not much, but it's better than nothing. We're still at 38%. I don't feel like driving down to the desert today, so we'll just take cars apart as we see them for more gas. But the first place we are going is to this treasure chest to dig that up. And then north of the treasure chest, there's some POIs in the snow biome, and I believe the paper mill is one of them. And I mentioned in the last episode that would be a good place to raid. One, because there's some decent loot there. And two, we can get a shit ton of paper there. So that's the plan. Oh, look at that. 37 pieces of silver. That's beautiful. Okay, that was a success. Now, from here, we want to go north to uh, these buildings right here. So, if we follow this river west, we'll hit this road and we'll be right there. So, let's do it. Oh, well, here's some iron. We might as well stop and mine some. We always need iron. We need more junky ammo. I think we're going to need forged iron to craft the blade trap. Or it might be steel, I don't remember. Either way, we're going to need more of this shit. Oh, speaking of traps too, I also made a dart trap since we found the schematic for that. And I believe it was the last episode, so I got one of those crafting in the workbench. And I also made about 600 darts. Uh, those are crafting in the forge. So we'll have a couple of traps tonight. We'll have a dart trap and the blade trap. The blade trap, I think I'm going to put above... The, the front doorway so as the zombies come in they get chopped up and then the dart trap I'll probably put against the wall so it's shooting at this not at the staircase but where the zombies will be standing on the staircase now the thing about the dart trap is that once you turn on the uh, battery bank or the generator it just starts firing unless you set up some sort of sensor I believe which I'm not going to do so, uh, as the horde breaks in, I'll turn on the dart trap and we'll just see how it does. Alright, so we got Butcher Pete's, the Paper Mill, and Doggos right here, and a Mountain Lion. Hey, you feeling lucky, punk? Oh, shit. <laughs> I guess I'm not feeling so lucky. I forgot to load that thing. Oh, shit, I have no ammo. I forgot to bring my Magnum ammo. I brought the Magnum, didn't bring any ammo. My name's Glock9. I'm supposed to be good at this game, but I'm not. I guess we're just going to beat the shit out of this thing then. What the fuck is it doing? There we go. Yes. All right. Let's back up off this guy so we can harvest him. And we'll take these cars apart for the gas. Hey, back up, buddy. Yeah, who needs ammo? Just beat the shit out of everything with this steel club. So we can throw the Magnum in the vehicle. We're not going to need that. 
Oh, I'm gonna need my coin though. There's a vending machine in the paper mill. Hopefully it works. Let's move this stuff over here. I might as well bring the lock picks down to the tool belt just to free up some more inventory space. Harvest this guy here. Throw that shit into the Jeep. And like I said, let's take these cars apart real quick before we start looting. All right, a whole lot of paper in here. Let's clear it out first. Yeah, come here, you paper-loving fuckers. Oh, slow down. Wouldn't be rushing me so hard if I had my Magnum. I can't believe I forgot the ammo for that thing. What an idiot. All right, I think it's clear down here. Got a backpack. Let's grab the can, take the flashlight, and let's start grabbing this paper. Well, I think that'll hold us over for a little bit. Can make plenty of shotgun shells with all this fucking paper. Now we just need more gunpowder. Let's get back in here, though. Loot this place. I know there's a bunch of cobblestone and cement, but I'm gonna skip over this stuff for now. We got a good amount of that at home. I just wanna... Loot, and then possibly head across the street to Doggos and grab the main stash over there as well, because that's up on the rooftop, real easy to get. I mean, we'll see. Maybe we can loot the whole place. It just depends on what time it is, because I want to get home at a decent hour today so we can get the blade trap crafted, get both of our traps set up along with the battery bank, and we still got some repair work to do as well. Okay, some shotgun shells, another extended... Magazine, we gotta go up here now. That uh, leads up to the rooftop, which we don't want to go up there yet. We want to loot this room, and there's a room underneath this room that uh, the POI made us skip over because the doors were locked. We'll get down there in a second once we uh, loot this place. Scrap and take. See what we got in here. Nothing. Some murky water I don't want. Let's pop this open. Backpack. Nitrate powder, I'll take it. Got some bookshelves over here. Okay. Alright. Um, military armor schematic and the iron knuckles schematic. And that cooking pot's not gonna fool me twice. Yeah, fuck you. Last time I was here, I was trying to pick that thing up, and I couldn't. I hit it with my stone axe, and it blew up in my face. It didn't kill me, luckily, but... Not gonna let that happen again. Alright, got another cabinet right here, and some food on top. Okay, I'll take the beer, why not? I'm gonna drink this yucca juice right now. And we gotta go out a window over here. I mean, we could head up to the rooftop. That's where the main loot is. But uh, then we'd be skipping a room down below. So we got to go out this window here. And there's a ladder that will take us back down. I know, it's strange. You got to go up and down and then up again. A couple of jailbreakers. Uh, you know what? I'm good on those. I'll take the Rockbuster candy, though. And we got some eye candy. Take that also. Level 5 football helmet, and a cowboy hat mod. As a matter of fact, I'll throw that mod into the football helmet. That'll make it sell for more. Another level 5 iron helmet. I'll throw this modifier in there. Sell that thing too. It's a landmine right here, so just try not to step on that thing. Nothing. Let's get out here. Sports bag. I don't want any of that shit. Here's an ammo pile, though. Scrap the arrows, take everything else. There's some magnum ammo. Guess I should have brought the magnum. Nothing up there. Here's a bird. Come here, you ugly bitch. There might be another bird up here. I know there are zombies up here. Oh, here's a bird. Fuck out of here. And the zombies are waking up. There's Big Mama in the water tower right there. 
Oh, <laughs> that looks like a broken leg. Oh, level five Magnum and some more Magnum ammo. Beautiful. More Magnum ammo. Ah, things are working out for us now. Let's see what we got in here. A gas tank mod. Oh, level six chainsaw and a couple of wire tools. I'm going to scrap one of them. I'm pretty sure we have a wire tool at home, but just in case, I'll hang on to that one. Let's bring our level five Magnum down. Get that thing loaded. All right, looking good. This place is done. Let's get out of here. Let's go load some stuff into the Jeep and uh, let's just get on the rooftop of Doggos, grab the main stash, and then we'll start heading back home. Okay, so we just want to pull up the side of the building here, grab the main loot that's up top, and we're done. It's just that easy. Let's get the pistol out. There might be dogs up here. Oh, there's birds. One, two. No dogs? I thought there was a wolf up here. Huh. I guess not. All right, well, that's going to make things real easy. There's uh, a plug over here. Let's pop this open. And I'll grab this main stash. And like I said, start heading home. I did see another car over by one of these houses, though. We'll take that apart. And if we see any other cars on the way home, we'll take those apart, too. And then tomorrow, we're probably going to have to go down to the desert and grab more oil shell because we can't, you know, just scrape by with uh, no gasoline. Man, the fucking loot is just great. Is this really the lucky looter perk paying off here or what? I'm going to scrap that anvil for the iron, bring down this level 5 uh, impact driver, and I'm going to shoot this nurse just for shits and giggles. Oh, shit. Got a bear right there. Let's uh get up on this rooftop right here. Why can't I put a frame down? There we go. Come on. All right, let's make sure we're fully loaded here. We're crouched so we can get some sneak damage. Oh, shit. I just one-shotted that bear. Blew his fucking head off. Man, I've been sleeping on the Magnum. We should have been using this thing. I'm not sure if this is the end of the POI or the beginning of it. I think it might be the beginning, actually. Search this cabinet. Some food. Let's take a quick look up there. And see if, uh... That's probably a bad idea. Let's put the frame right here. Oh, not much going on up here. There's an open door right there. Yeah, this is the beginning. We're supposed to drop down... Because, yeah, there are stairs right here. Okay, so this is where you're supposed to start. And then you would enter this home through the basement. So I'm going to assume the main loot is up in the attic. So uh, let's go grab that shit real quick. Let's see. What the hell? We got, we got a little bit of time here to spare. Let's pull right up to the roof here. Okay. Bust in right around here. And see what we can see. Couple of zombies. Take them out. Later, fuckers. Well, let's just reload our magnum and jump down there then. Oh, got a cop right here. Oh, he's not dead. Now he is. Come here, Kenny. Here we go. Here's the good stuff. Some more ammo. Whole bunch of stuff. Look at that. Level 6 steel club. I'm telling you, man. The loot is good today. Let's uh, eat this food. Let's take the mods off of the level 5 steel club. Put them on this level 6. And now we have a fourth slot. So we can add a fourth mod in there. 
I'll have to take a look at our mods when we get back home, see if there's another one we can slip in there. There's another working stiff tools crate. Okay. Let's loot this stuff here and then we'll get out of here because it is starting to get late. Same plan as always. We're going to deal with them here at the front door until they break through these iron bars, and then we're going to get up and into place. But before we get over to the stairs, we're going to turn on the battery bank, which will then turn on this blade trap and the dart trap. And like I said earlier, there's no delay there. As soon as we turn on the battery bank, the dart trap is going to start shooting. But at that point, they will have broken through. And uh, they'll be climbing up the stairs immediately like they always do, and the dart trap will start doing work. I mean, in terms of these traps, you know, worst case scenario is we waste some darts because the dart trap will just be constantly shooting. And then with the blade trap, it might get destroyed really quickly. You know, because I don't know, if this thing is spinning, it might prevent the zombies from even getting through the doorway. We're going to find out real soon. Let's just turn it on now, fuck it. There goes the dart trap. And here they go. Oh, and they're just getting chopped up. I was gonna say, that might prevent them from even getting inside the cabin, but apparently it's not. They're in. That thing is chopping them up. Let's get some fire down there. Ooh, that might work out great. You know, I never really had that good a luck with blade traps. Every time I use one, they end up getting destroyed super quickly. But this thing is going to fucking town. It might just be the perfect setup here.
Well, I spoke too soon. That blade trap did not hold up for very long. What the hell are they doing? Why are they not jumping up the steps? Let's turn this dart trap off. It just keeps shooting. Oh, shit. Are the stairs knocked out? They are! Oh, fuck. That's not good. How the hell did they knock out a steel step so quickly? It's only hour 23. Shit, man. Um, alright, well, we got no choice. Looks like we're just gonna hang out up here, <laughs> use uh, the Molotovs that we have, shoot down on them, use the uh, robotic turret ammo that we have. Let's go ahead and get this junkie reloaded. And uh, hopefully we can finish them off without them doing too much damage to the cabin. But uh, my prediction at this point is that we're going to run out of ammo. Usually I get a lot of melee kills, you know, during this horde night. And uh, those are out the window now. We have to rely strictly on firepower at this point. I thought about bringing the SMG tonight, too, but I figured, fuck it. You know, the AK and the shotgun, I thought was just going to be plenty. And we can just save the SMG and the 9mm for uh, a future night. But uh, that was a mistake. Now uh, we might as well pick these up. We don't have any more ammo and no more iron to make ammo, so they're safer in our inventory. Now my thought process right now is use all of the AK ammo, and once that runs out, jump down and fight them on foot with the shotgun. But here's the problem. That door is our only way in and out, and it's just loaded with zombies. We should have made an escape door or hatch leading up to the roof or something. Another way to escape this place other than just the front door. I mean, they are busting holes in the wall, so maybe they'll make another way in and out of this place, or we just have to wait for the right time to jump down and run through the front door. But we still have over 800 rounds left, so let's just keep working on them from up here. Oh, hey, buddy, how'd you get up here? Here, go tell your friends how to get up here so they all do the same. But anyway, like I said, we'll just keep working on them from up here until we run out of AK ammo. Then we'll see what things look like. At that point, I'd like to jump down there, fight them on foot with the shotgun, just to, you know, alleviate some of the damage they're doing to the cabin. Oh, cops are showing up now. Of course they are. Might as well bring on demolishers too. Let's just royally fuck this night up. Is a cop. No demolishers yet, so I guess that's good. Got another zombie up the stairs. Occasionally, uh... One of them makes it up here, but not enough to really make a difference. We're slowly running out of ammo here for the AK. I'm going to try and focus the rest of the AK ammo onto radiated zombies. This way, if or when we do have to jump down there and fight on foot, there's not so many of them. Last magazine for the AK. Look at this, though. If they break that block out, that'll give me another way out of here. Now, it's almost morning. Fuck it, man. Let's go for it. 
Oh, this is crazy. Out of the way, Big Mama. All right, we're out. We're somewhat safe. It's uh, just about morning. The cabin doesn't look too bad. It, it certainly needs a, a lot more repairs than it normally does, and we're gonna end up having to spend the day here tomorrow just repairing and getting ready, and that's fine if that's what we gotta do. Now, we did, we did use more ammo than usual tonight, obviously. But not a big deal. I just want to know how they broke that first step so quickly. Like, it was just gone. I didn't even notice it until they just stopped coming up to the bars. So strange. Uh, that blade trap seemed to work great at first, and then it just got destroyed real quick. And the dart trap was working well until, uh, you know, they stopped coming up the steps. I had to turn that thing off. And here we go. Last crawler. No, two more. And is that it? Looks like it. Holy shit, what a crazy night. We handled ourselves well, though. We didn't panic. And uh, we made it out alive. The cabin took some damages, but like I said, nothing we can't repair tomorrow. So let's grab all this loot. We'll get it organized. We'll pick things up on the morning of day 30. And I guess we're just spending the day here tomorrow, at least the morning. You know what I mean? That'll be the first thing we do, is get the cabin back in working order, and then with whatever time we have left, we'll go out and spend that time looting. Got another treasure map. Let's go ahead and read that. That is to the northeast. Oh, right here. Look at this. It's on the way to Trader Gents. I was just thinking, you know, we got a shit ton of stuff to sell and a lot of coin. And all we've been buying from the traders is ammo. So, after we get the cabin repaired tomorrow, maybe we'll take a ride up the road there. We'll grab that treasure. Then we'll go see Trader Jen and we'll buy any kind of building supplies she has. Steel, concrete, iron, whatever she's got. And then we can go see the snow trader as well, do the same thing, and then we can go see Rick, and while we're down in the desert, we can grab some more oil shale. So, that sounds like the plan for tomorrow. Repair the cabin, go get the treasure, go see the traders, and then get back here and get ready for another fight. Ooh, rad remover schematic. That is beautiful right there. What do we need to craft one? Some steel, only five pieces. Let's do it. I'm definitely crafting one of those tonight. This way we can... I've already got one in the AK, but this way tomorrow night we can put one in the shotgun or the SMG as well. What else do we need to craft this thing? Glue, mechanical parts, and springs. But uh, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Let me get this rad remover moving, and we'll pick things up here on the morning of day 30. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Cabin in the Woods, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.